Namaste, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I see the God in you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Let's get into this reading. We got quite a few questions. The first one we want to tap into and see what does your person want to say? Let's just get right down to it. This could be someone that you're dating, you're seeing, you're talking to, you've been on it on again, off again, however it fits, okay? I'm learning how to love myself thanks to you. Okay. Well, this person definitely wants to tell you that they think you're a great person. Um, you are a positive influence on their life in their life with them um i'm not happy in my current situation i'm miserable without you mm. so it's like yeah i'm i'm hearing right away um expect someone to be coming back around or just expect this new person to be kind of clingy Someone wants to be clingy up in your energy. And I don't know. I'm just kind of getting the vibe like, do you want to, do you want to be around this person? Because misery, I'm miserable without you. Like, do you know how to be happy? I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Let me not be pessimistic. Um, addictions clouded my vision. I'm trying to get my life together. Oh. <sighs> Well, I'm just saying, you know better than I do, Taurus. What kind of addictions? Like, what kind of help? Um, this person, sorry. They, they are, they are, I'm getting the vibe of like, I'm sorry here. That's what, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm kind of getting. I'm kind of getting the vibe like, I think I messed up. I think I did something wrong. I think I owe you an apology out of my vision this person might have definitely said or done some things to you while they were intoxicated is what i'm hearing um i whoa 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 i tried to replace you but i but it didn't work because i'm madly in love with you you and i was fighting it i know this is divine I'm not, I didn't, I didn't write this deck. I don't know who's, I don't, I, this is the naked, naked truth, twin flame soulmate readings. Okay. I'm just saying, um, I'm just flabbergasted right now. Like this deck is like straight up telling the truth. Um, th they tried to replace you. So their, their addictions, um, clouded their judgment. The gra oh my God. This person really thought that like, like it was hot, like it was hot somewhere else. Um, and they're not happy with the person that they're with. And if, even if they're not with someone, they're not happy with their life situation. They're not happy with the choice that they made to play you. All right. And I'm, oh my God, like I'm getting pissed off for you. I feel like seriously, really though? Like, and what, and what now? What now? What are their intentions? I don't know how this is making you feel. If you don't have a person that you're dealing with, Taurus, and, you know, you're single as a Pringle, let me know down in the comments. Um, but, yeah, if you're watching this, you definitely do. You have a person. This is a timeless love reading. If you like this, don't forget to press like. It really helps me when you do that. Let's see what are their intentions. What are their intentions? I really want to know. Their current intentions towards you because ooh, I could say so much okay this person want to make memories with you this person also wants you to forget about the past we have memories here this person wants to make you feel nostalgic over them they want to talk about the good times the bad times they want to go through moon cycles with you is what I'm hearing I'm also seeing the world card so some of you could be dealing with any fixed sign energy okay coming through let's see
What are their current intentions? Taurus, my dear Taurus. Dreams. Ooh, they want you to be like kind of obsessed about them. They could be trying to make spiritual links to your energy. They they could just be trying to make your I mean hopefully hopefully they can make your dreams come true, but I am noticing the purple here. So that's giving me spiritual crown chakra energy, 5D energy. So they could be trying to thinking about you so hard that this person is showing up in your dreams. Um, whether you're with them or not, that's their current intentions. They just want you to be starry eyed over them. And I don't know. Oh, all right. Mm. What are their current intentions? Divine feminine. For some of them, they could be wanting to procreate with you. Just saying, if you already have children with this person, they could be wanting to have more children if you haven't had children this person could definitely want your dna this is my procreation card and i said that about them i said that about those moon cycles now we got karmic cycles they want to create I, they don't even care it's like they want to make stories with you like this is current but it's also giving long term they want to go through the good and the bad so I, I don't know this this could be a comeback around okay this could really be a comeback around let's see how are you feeling about this person let's get some some tarot and tap into this energy and see how are you currently feeling about this person and who is this person yeah, just real quick, just to see. Then we're going to see how they're feeling about you. Listen, I'm telling you right now with the Seven of Pentacles and Reverse, I, I have spent so much time trying with you. I am not, if, you, if you're going to be coming up and showing up in my life and selling me dreams, tour, you could be dealing with a another, why am I hearing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Right here, the Cups. Also, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, another Taurus, or a Virgo. Let's see how else you feel. You feel like this person has way too much fun. You feel like everything is about fun. Maybe when it's time to get real and to get real serious about you, it, it could just be like an issue. You could be feeling like maybe this person needs to be friend zone. You could be feeling like it's time to curse this mother out. Period. <laughs> Some of you could be getting so many signs and synchronicities from the universe to speak your mind and flip the you know what off. Like, ooh, that's what I'm saying. Somebody is kind of irritating you. I don't know. Please let me know who this is, okay? We got Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. You could be feeling like this person is immature or they don't know when to be mad. Um... Oh my goodness, you just don't want a missed opportunity, but you feel like this might be a missed opportunity. You just don't know if it's really worth you investing more of your time. It's like you care about this person because you've clearly invested in them. You've clearly given them your time, your attention, because, you know, this their current feelings, maybe you've already been through cycles with them, right? And it's like you already been there, done that with them. You need to see some new type of energy. Um, you could be definitely feeling like, mm, I was thinking about, I'm hearing, I was get, thinking about getting a home. I was thinking about doing this, but I just don't, I just don't know about you. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. So let's see for sure. Um, what are their feelings? Let's move forward. Let's see how are they feeling about you, Taurus. How are they feeling about you, Taurus? How are they feeling about you, my dear Taurus? Mm, they, they, oh, come on, the hangman, seriously? They're like, you literally remind me of Jesus. <laughs> You're like a saint in comparison to them. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's like 
you have you make so many sacrifices for them for other people i knew this world card was going to come out pisces energy we also have taurus leo aquarius and scorpio energy coming through with this world card i'm just saying Ooh, <laughs> it's like babe we've been through it all we have we've legit been through it all and i want to make some more memories it doesn't matter if they're good or bad i do i do like this that this person wants to to stick in there but what i don't like is how this person everything is like kind of dreamy the pentacles that we do have they're in reverse so i mean that's an issue it's like put up or shut up you know you can feel like this person all they do is talk 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 justice um yeah this person definitely feels like it's either time for them to put a ring on it, get married, take it to the next level, put something in writing, sign whatever they need to sign, sign the document. If they don't do it, then it's like off with their head. I don't know what to say. <laughs> chop, chop, you're done. <laughs> I don't mean that literally, okay? this is 2024 thank you <laughs> but yes we do have the justice card and it just kind of seems like yeah this person feels like you're very serious and they feel like you're fair they feel like you've done so much you've helped them so much you've even possibly given them some sort of spiritual enlightenment maybe you're giving them some sort of like spiritual advice or are you giving them advice about traveling that you could be multicultural they just feel like you you have so much experience in the world you know so much and you're so intuitive you know your intuition is always on point and it's like man i should probably put a ring on it but you know then again you know if they're if they're if they're clouded and you know they're in a current situation that's is affecting their finances or anything of the sort then they need to figure it out for you um you make this person extremely turned on i'm not trying to be shallow but that's kind of like um yeah it's like oh you make them want to do things big and small and um they do feel like you have a lot of healing some of you could have aquarius in your chart sun moon rising venus mercury um or this person could be an aquarius they just feel like you've been through so much and there's so much more to explore with you and there we go it's always coming out that's two of pentacles i mean honestly why why is everybody so busy these days busy doing nothing you know what i'm saying <laughs> stop playing they feel like they need to make they need to figure something out uh, the, the, uh, otherwise there's gonna be an ending all right let's get into their thoughts this could be what they're consciously thinking about you what are their conscious thoughts about you um or maybe I think this is that I, I, I feel pretty confident that this is going to be their their conscious thoughts about you Taurus when they think of you I'm addicted to you okay that's nice that's cute but at the end of the day sex don't pay the bills all right <laughs> until it does <laughs> oh my god that's not my point my point is I'm addicted to you right so this person definitely has some addictions already and you could be one of them i mean maybe this person went crazy be careful this is capricorn energy this is also um the lower natures the temptation the devil card energy here with this 15 i'm addicted to you addictions cloud my vision i'm trying to get my life together so they they got a lot of addictions they got a few and one of them is you i dream about i dream about you a lot too much i definitely definitely believe that i definitely definitely believe that this person dreams about you and so yeah they want to like send some sort of psychic links to you because they're dreaming about you and they're trying to like force the universe to make you dream about them create a psychic link 
to you because I am hearing do you do you dream about me you know that's this gray area we got the crown chakra right Ooh, I love when it gets deep like this some of you are definitely manifesting this person they're coming in and you know it might not be all it might not be all that bad sometimes someone being addicted to you that's kind of hot that's kind of sexy I would not be afraid of that energy unless it became toxic to your physical spiritual mind body right um now is not the time so maybe that's why things are kind of up in the air maybe why that's why the pentacles are reversed because there could be some distance between the two of you there could be some time um some 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 time frames and yeah it could just all be so confusing maybe you're missing them or missing their phone calls like you know or running into each other and trying to like figure things out let me have you this person thinks about having you and i do feel that it's in more ways than one and the only reason i say that is because i do see this karmic cycle here so it's not <laughs> It's not just about, oh, let me have you. It's, let me have you for a long time. Let me invest in you. This could also be the, this, this number seven could be significant. The number 15, the number six could be significant here. Let me have you. So, yeah, I just feel like this person really wants you. And in more ways than one. Why am I constantly hearing that? I mean, that's, I guess that's what they really want to say. Let's get some advice from the romance angels for you to take away advice on your current situation Taurus advice on your current situation give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so i mean honestly no one's perfect i understand i get it that you know there might be some addictions involved there may be some whatever involved I, I listen they're addicted to you like they're addicted to having fun i don't feel that those addictions are heavy but maybe for some of you it, it is always do what you feel guided to do always trust your intuition always trust that gut feeling those instincts those chills that you get trust so give your relationship a chance so maybe if you feel like it's worth it you can forget this person and move forward i know they want to unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going i feel like in the beginning this person's saying i'm I'm not happy in my current situation. So, yeah, they they just might not be very happy in their current situation is what I'm getting. So, it's like you can trust that they're not happy. They're not happy in their current situation. And I feel like they want to be with you, get back with you, be close to you. I don't know, something like that. That That is sticking out to me. Some of you need to know that. For others of you, it's like if you don't want to be with this person, don't string them along. Let them go. So that you can call in your soulmate and then we also have look this one fell over free yourself it's time to take back control of your life okay if you know that this is your soulmate if you feel like you have a strong connection to this person be ready for this person when they come be that unique and divine being that you are like this uni unicorn free yourself do not let this person stop you in any sort of way like this connection is great but there's so much more to you you have so much more to offer the world so don't let this get you down if this person is playing games with you too and it's like one minute they say they love you the next minute they say they don't it's up to you always do what you're guided to do and don't forget that i'm always here for you and i'm always rooting for you and no matter what write it down and make it real i always do I do everything right even when I don't know what I'm doing and I always get what I want or even better okay so just remember those two affirmations namaste Taurus I'll see you in your next reading until then peace and love